we're using a 12 by 12 paper to make an envelope and four embellishments. This is for our mini challenge in the challenge, 9.124. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to mini challenge in the challenge, 9.124. So uh, our mini challenge in the challenge each month is a gift component. Today we're gonna be making a extra large coin envelope that you can fill with fun items for uh, for doing Happy Mail. And so um, I have a stack of random 12 by 12 papers. This is a uh, use up your paper kind of thing, goodie. So I am going to make this to go with my Raggedy Ann and Andy journal. Okay, so I'll fill it with a few extra things to go with that. And so picking out picking out items to go with well, I'm going to do to go with things that I already have made. And then I want one for, ooh, I think we can do one out of, oh, nope, that one's been, <laughs> that one's been used. I want a full, full page. Oh, there, that'll go in my journal or go with the journal I'm using now. And this might go with like the perfume and roses. And so, yeah, so pick four, pick four and, um, so we'll be making four of these this this month and that is to go with your your challenge okay so if you are doing the september oh i like that one september 17 day scavenger hunt junk journal challenge so I found these papers when I was doing the scavenger hunt. I was like, oh, I need to do something with those, okay? Um, <laughs> random, random. So I saw this idea, I've seen it before, but this morning I was watching Pink Oddbird. She had purchased some Halloween, uh, I've got four, right? Yeah, some Halloween, uh, fabric from my sale and uh, April Storm had said that she mentioned me and I wanted to make sure that I went and watched and so um, I only had a few minutes <laughs> so I have to go back and finish but this was the next video that um, came up and I was like oh that might be a good idea for our journal. Now, the thing is, is you really do want a paper that um, doesn't have to be a specific direction because we're gonna make an envelope. So you're gonna have flips and flaps going all over the place. So this other page, although I think that this would be really cute, like really cute with the Raggedy Ann and Andy um, journal um, to give as a gift when to the person that purchases that journal um, it is it is in a set direction so if I have a flap that's coming down it's gonna be upside down okay and although that might not bother you those kind of things um, those kind of things do bother me Okay, so uh, so our first thing we're gonna do is I I picked my four four papers, and we're gonna fold one edge up, um, between like a half an inch to an inch, and we'll go ahead and fold that down. Okay, so half an inch and folding it down. Now for our other direction, we're gonna want this to be. Um, 
eight and a half inches or less because I am making an envelope that will fit into uh, my journal. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna get that started. And it is under our eight and a half. Okay, so I used one of the pages from the Moon Music. That's what I'm using for my challenge this month. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this up. Okay, and I should have a bone folder out. Go ahead and grab a bone folder. I think this is my out of my scoring board. It didn't get put back. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and pull this piece down. Okay. Now, my journal is eight and a half by five and a half. So I want to make sure that this is like five inches or less. And we'll go ahead and put it down. So, um, yeah, so using items from your stash. This is, these are lighter weight of scrapbook paper. They're not cardstock. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this and, um, it is going to give us, this is where we're going to get our pocket. Okay. So we're going to cut just inside this, this line here. Okay. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to cut at a little bit of an angle. Okay. And this time I'm going to go down. To there. And come over here. Okay. And then the same thing down here on to the inside of the line. And you can see where we're just making a giant coin envelope. Okay. Giant coin envelope. Now, um, if you wanted to turn this into a giant dad's bank envelope you can do that okay you can have your your large piece and you can just round that and then you can come over and give this one a pretty edge okay so come in and you know like our dad's bank envelope has the pretty edge okay but that is going to be my envelope and um for some reason I'm a little I'm gonna go ahead and okay so then to close it you're going to want to make sure that you have glue over on this edge okay like this and then put your glue in and then come over to this And come all the way across okay and that way this will keep it from accidentally coming in and there we go and then we'll go ahead and close up the flap and this envelope is going to go with my Raggedy Ann and Andy journal. Okay. And then I can go ahead and fill this with fun things um, that they can use in the Raggedy Ann and Andy journal. So some of the things I might put in there is like some of the, the tape, maybe a couple of these are actually, I have these for my circle um, or for my circus journal but I could put a couple of these in there possibly. So I'll be going through and picking out. Now, um, we are going to make something using these items. Okay. Also, <clears throat> so, so this one, let's go ahead and of course you can use your, your cutter.
Okay, so you're gonna make something using the scraps. We don't wanna have any scraps left. We are under two inches, so I can, if I can find it, I can use my tag. Okay. Let's put that in there. Okay, so that's gonna give me a little tag that can go in there. And yes, it's it's that simple. Go ahead and make a tag. Now if with this one, I'm gonna go ahead, I will have a little bit of this I'm gonna grab a paper clip I want one of the skinnier ones I somehow um, one batch of the silver paper clips were like chunky I don't know okay so I'm gonna go ahead and flip that up pick out which side I like the best I think I like this so I'm gonna go ahead and put my paper clip to the back here. Okay. I will use fabric tack because uh, I like the way I like the way that, that the gel grabs around the paper clip. I used to use hot glue until I got burnt on a paper clip. <laughs> and it hurt, so I don't I just don't do that anymore. Okay? So then go ahead and cut that. And we've got a paper clip base that can go in here. Okay, so a little tag. And if you don't have the tag punch, you can go ahead and just turn your first piece into a little tag. Oh, you know what? While we're at it, we've got this piece. So I grab the tag back out and I'm gonna add this to the tag just to give it a little bit of a finish. Okay, there's that. Now for my Raggedy Ann and Andy, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, okay? just go okay so I made the tag I added three things I added a playing card staples and a piece of fabric okay so your tag and then add three things your base using um, the piece that came uh, from down one of the longer piece that came from down here and we've made it into a a paper clip and I'm gonna come up here and see I don't know if I have any more Raggedy Ann and Andy out because I have been working on moon stuff but there might be a little ah there's Raggedy Ann there's Raggedy Ann, and she's a stamp. So if we put her on here. Okay, so that's a Dear Julie Julie Digital from the Raggedy Ann and Andy kit. Put that up there. We have another well, we have a piece of this hanging out over here. Okay, and then on this, the cool thing about making your bases like this is you can just go ahead and add your fabric to the top okay 
So, um, so we'll have, so far we have our little tag. We have this little guy and I think we'll go ahead and cancel the stamp. Okay, so you're gonna do four sets, four sets. So we've got two more pieces to use and there we go. Okay, so fabric, stamp, and the um, Dear Julie Julie Digital, that will work on that one. And next, we've got another little this one I'm going to round the edges. So we're going to make another little just a journaling card. I'm going to round the edges. So you're going to take the journaling the base, make a journaling card and um, have that ready. Okay, so for this one, I think we'll come over on this side here. I think the... And we'll fold, we'll fold this over and make it a tab. I'm trying to get all the colors is what's happening here. Like, I want all the colors. I'm going to start with the center. Very good. Okay. And then on this one, remember in the Raggedy Ann and Andy stuff, I used these, these stickers. I happen to have still have the right Ann and Andy stuff out. Okay, so number three. So we've got staples, fabric, and a sticker. And we have a journaling card to add. And then for the last one, we have this piece. I'm gonna take an index card, okay? And I'm gonna add this piece as a tab. Look how cute that is with the B on it. Okay. So I'm gonna add it to the, to the front like this. Okay, let me see. Do I have something that I can... Okay. Raggedy Ann and Andy. Oh my gosh. I, look what I've got. Look what I've got. I've got this. And I've got this. So this is from the Raggedy Ann and Andy digital kit. It's from one of the mini pages. It's the journal card um, wallet sheet, all smaller. And it's the one that has all the numbers on it. So we'll put that. Okay, so you're gonna use an index card or a three by five card, and you're gonna make this a tab. 
Okay, so this piece is going to become a tab. So, and then you'll add your three items. And so these are the three items that I have that I'm going to add. I have this heart. and collage we're gonna have them all touching now let's see if we have one more there's a moon ha huh. oh we've got a stamp we've got we've got one yeah we'll go ahead and put that on there it up on this. No. I'm going to put it down here. Okay, so that's from the Raggedy Ann and Andy Digital also. Okay, so you are going to make four of these envelope sets. And then from your scraps, you're going to make a paper clip, a small journaling card, and a tag and then the other piece you're going to make a, a tab that goes on an index card and these items can go inside here and be a gift and then you're going to be able to add other things in here as well let's go ahead and i'll just cut that put that in there and that gives me that little gift and then you can just um, use washi to go ahead and close it or you can add a couple of buttons and make it a policy envelope closure if you want to um, you could go ahead and add a ticket like this okay as its closure I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And this, like I said, this is going to go with my Raggedy Ann journal. It's available in the Etsy shop. Um, as long as it lasts. Okay. Until it's, until it's not there no more. Okay. So there we go. There's that. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and I'm going to make the one for that's going to go with my journal now you do not have to have one go with your journal now we have a compromise here um and so i'm gonna i'm gonna end up losing out on this over here i'm gonna go ahead and just to so that i'll be able to use this i'm gonna go ahead and put some book page down okay go ahead and glue that okay so again april at pink oddbird was where i saw this um, i had something else we were gonna do <laughs> much uh much harder and i th i just think that this is going to be a great gift idea that then if you want to do some happy mail or um now this one i'm going to show you how you can go ahead and you can also leave it open okay so let's see we'll go ahead and i'll mark it right here so I want to be inside that eight and a half. Go ahead and fold it over. Line it up here. And that should give you a straight, a straight piece there. Okay. Now I, I know I want, oh, look what I did. Oh, well. 
this is going to be part of my tag. I had planned, I wanted it to be part of the short one that would be the, um, okay, one, two, three, four, five. So we can go all the way up to there. That's what I like to do. So five. This one's going to be, I mean, I might use, I'll use this either in a, a fall journal or in my moon music journal. Now remember your um, mini challenge in the challenge does not need to go in the journal you're working on now. Okay. It does not need to go. It is a gift component. So it gives us a chance to come up with an, a gift idea. The other thing is, is if you make a small journal, it could fit in here also. And you could give this as a small journal. This seems like a big flap. We're at 10. Yeah, that's where we want it, okay. Just checking. <laughs> Paper moved. So the other thing that you can do is if this is, if you're making this for yourself. Now you see what I did there? See how I did that? I can come over here <laughs> and uh, if I want to make it so that it's the same, come over and line that up over here and cut that. I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay. Um, so you could bind this in your journal and have it be a pocket in the center. So you just go ahead and line up your edge, bind it, and then you can put your pocket together. Okay. Um, you've also seen, I mean, you could go ahead and put your pocket together like this and have like a top tuck here and a little place here and this, and then put this down. And, you know, and add your little closure here. Okay, so um, just for another way of, of adding it. Okay, so I'm gonna have, my pocket is going to be ready, ready. And we'll go ahead and make our, so our large one is going to be our tag. I'm going to turn it over so that I can. Okay. And then we can just go ahead and do the old school cut. Bring it over. Okay, so that gives me a tag. This will be my journaling card. So we'll get the bases all ready. Okay, so a journaling card. So you can use these in a journal 
or you can use them as a gift. Okay. So where are my other, <laughs> I lost, I lost a piece, huh? There it is. So this will be my um, paper clip, I believe. And I'm gonna grab an orange, orangey red. Okay, so flip that up. We're just doing a regular altered paper clip, not a hidden one. Okay, so the base. And then I'll add my, my three items after I have all my bases made. Okay, make sure to get your... Okay, and then this one's a tab and it's gonna go on... Let me give it a little bit of a tab look. I'm looking for, I have these index cards. So with the dots, yeah, that one came off. With, so we got dot and dot. Okay. So that is my base. my thumb holding things. Okay, so index card, journal card, tag, and paper clip. Okay, so those are those bases. With this envelope, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead, and, if I hold that like that, Okay, and I'll come back and I'll add my items. Okay, so, um, so my scraps that I have are just these pieces from the two that we've done so far. I don't think I need to keep any of those. <laughs> I'm gonna throw those away. I know, I'm shocked too. Okay, so um, this one, we'll go ahead, I'm gonna go up the inch to half, or the half an inch to an inch. Fold that down. Come over, make sure that we're inside the eight and a half inches. Mark it. One, two, three, four, Again, I'll cut inside. This is going to be our 
paper clip. This will be our tab. You see I'm a little smaller this time. This will be our journal card. This will be our tag. And this one, I think, is going to go with the journal that I made the other one. Okay, so this is going to be my flap down that'll come across. That'll come that way. So this journal is that I'm going to put this with is already made. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to close this one. This one will be a package. I'm going to just put glue on these two edges. Okay, because I can put something in here. Journaling card with rounded edges. Happy Mail Pack. And I put the, the longer part of the paper clip on the outside. Remember, I used the fabric tack on the paper clip. paper clip and this will be our tab and I'm going to put this on a yellow index card. So you can have, I mean, you can make these, have them ready, the bases. So, um, like this, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down. And then I'm gonna put all my things up here. And my paper clip will hold it. And so, yeah, so there, so if you finish two of them, and then you can have two that you just have the bases, okay? And then I can go ahead and take these, throw them away, and one more time, and then we'll finish that last 
base that is the one that's going to go with my with the moon journal that I'm working on now. So a half an inch to about an inch here. And then get your, your measure out. I want it under the eight and a half inches. Okay, so you're making four of these. Two of these, it, you're just doing the bases. And then two of them, you'll have them finished with their three items added to them. Now your envelope does not need to be um, have anything added to it. Okay, you're just making the envelope. And then the, the items to fill inside okay there we go open it up go ahead and I'm gonna stay really close to this edge come over So there's my tag. There's my little journaling card. This one will be my paper clip. So I hope this gives you an idea of how to make some happy mail. And that is... Um, the segue <laughs> to tell you that we are working on a Happy Mail um, setup. Okay, so um, I know that it went away. It's not something that I wanted to do myself. I have been asked, um, and so we will be reopening the uh, Happy Mail. Um, set up. Okay, so watch for that. Um, I um, we're we're getting people to help with that. So um, again, I'm not going to close this one, okay? Because it could end up being being bound that you could open it and write in it. It could be a pocket, like we talked, of, like we showed before. Um, but we'll have that there. Actually, we'll do it like this. Okay, now let's go ahead and this will be our tab. And if you want to fold your tab over, you can do that. Okay. I think we'll put this one on that other this on the the dot okay okay so there's our that then this will give us our journaling card So our mini challenge in the challenge, um, this time, if you're still here and you've watched this far, um, there will be a place in the crafty community this month for you to post your mini challenge in the challenge. Um, and we will uh, draw from there for a one sheet um, digital. And so 
Yeah, so if you do the mini challenge in the challenge, even if you're not doing this month's challenge. Now remember, it is a requirement to do this if you are doing the September 17 day scavenger hunt junk journal challenge, then um, this is one of the required elements. Um, but if you just want to, uh, you just want to do it, then um, go ahead and post your finished, all the items, okay? Your mini challenge in the challenge, that one's not orange. There's a red and then there's a reddish orange. I want the, okay. Um, so post that in the, the post in the crafty community. You'll find that in the featured um, thing. Okay, the featured tab. So go to featured and then look there and you can post it. And um, you have until the September 30th to post it. And so you'll have your two plane kits and your two that you finished. We're gonna finish my moon ones here in just, just a minute. Right now I'm still finishing these up. We're at three inches. So this one needs to be regular. So um, I haven't used this in a while. You guys, this is um, Spectrum Art Creations. This is their little goodie. Uh, you can pick that up from them at Spectrum Art Creations. Um, www.spectrumartcreations.com it says. And then you just take it and you put it. Okay. I know people have done this with like a like a credit card and things like that. Um, they have two different sizes. I have both of them and they just hang up and hang, hang up and hang out right there. Okay, so I have my index card with the tab, my tag, my journal, mini journaling card, and my paper clip. And I'm gonna at just attach that to this, um, this large envelope, okay? And these are all my scraps that I have left. And I think that that is pretty cool. Okay, so we did do this one. And where's my other peach? Okay, I don't know where it went, but there's a peach one. Okay, this is our, the one that we're doing to go in my journal and um, I, I'm not going to close it up yet. There it is. It's, I found the other one. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and decorate this. Okay. So I have a little moon here. I have a little man in the moon. Okay. So that was stamped. I'm gonna put him up here on the tag. And then we've got that. Ooh, I'm gonna put that on there. It says moon shadows. I'm gonna put that on there. So we'll have a label and a Dear Julie Julie Digital. This was from the Friday freebie this week. I don't know if it's up here. Let me see. Yeah, here's this week's Friday freebie. So you get the people on the moon. And then if you are a Dear Julie Julie Patreon, they received these extra pages. 
these extra moon pages, okay? There's gonna be two full moons, I believe, this month. So we're already set and ready for that. Um, so we've got, oh, I didn't put that in there straight. Moon shadows. Okay, we've got this one. And I think we'll put blue moon. blue moon there but I'm gonna add some some of this okay so this is our drywall tape and uh, you'll find the link to that down below um, YouTube lets me put the links to the products that I'm using um, if you use that link and purchase through that link, I do get a little commission, but it doesn't cost you anything extra, okay? So, and so you might have noticed that those have been on my last few videos. Okay, so go and well then remember I added the book page down here because okay and then I saw there was a piece of the the netting I've been using this netting on my my moon journal. Okay, so there's that. And I think we'll use this with the moon shadows. So this is from the Moon Music Digital. It is the covers of antique um, music that either had the moon in the title or, let's see. So in the title or in the picture, some of them had both. And there's a bunch and the main colors are orange and blue so this is uh, one of what would be my fall or Halloween kit okay so there's there's that and I'm gonna go ahead and stick a little piece of this So this is called joint tape. And I like that it's got the little circles in it to go with the moon theme. We'll just go ahead and cut that off. Okay, so our tag has digital or digital. This is stamped drywall tape, that and staples. Okay, and this has Dear Julie Julie Digital, the label, the moon um, digital, and the drywall tape. Okay, so we'll put both of those there. Next, did I, did I close this without a paper clip in it? Holy moly. Bloopers are included. <laughs> this morning totally for sure wow julie have you done that before i don't think i've ever done that before especially i don't think i've ever done that before on tape on video okay we'll do this all over again did you did you happen to notice
I only have a red paper clip holding it. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's come over here and let's see. We've got Dixie Moon in the Valley of the Moon. There's that same picture. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. That one's cool too. I think I'll go with this blue one right here. Oh, let's grab that off. So what do you think about having a way of already knowing how you can go ahead and use your um, scraps from making the envelope? I like that. I'm like going... Wow, can make these on the days that I'm like, what should I do? Oh, well, while I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and I'll start. Okay, so there's digital. have the word moon. I think I'll save that for this. Okay, let's look up here. What else do we... Oh, we have French fashionistas, which we're using. So I think we'll grab a French fashionista. For this. Is there another stamped moon? Raggedy Ann and Andy. Another French fashionista. Okay, well. Okay, this, um, I have some blue yarn here. So we have a digital, we have some yarn. Ooh, I have the stencil piece. <laughs> There's so much. We'll go ahead. This has got the little stopper on it. Oh, I don't want it on the moon side. I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose the, the moon, the moonness. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that gives me the, the paper clip. And now we can come over and we'll go ahead. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, well, I have an idea. Okay. So this is the gold from the bag. And I'm gonna go ahead and put glue along this edge over here. Put this down. So the stencil will show up on the back side. We're using part of the sack or bag Okay, and then we'll put them on here. This is our French fashionistas. I'm using them along with the Moo Music and the Halloween postcard digital to get all kinds of moonlight items. Okay, so is there something that I want to add? grab in the valley of the moon. So I can either end up using these in the journal or have the envelope be a like a gift for to go with the journal and I think that that will be yeah in the valley of the moon Okay, so this one has Dear Julie Julie Digitals, the sack, and the stencil. Okay, so Dear Julie Julie's uh, Digitals. This was from Friday Freebie. This is from the Moon Music, and this is from French Fashionista. And so, you know, I think this is just a little bit... To, I could cut it down and put that on there. This is also from the Friday freebie. It's from the, the description of what it is. And so it gives you another word to use. Okay, and we'll have it go right over to the edge. And... off. Okay, so for my moon music journal, and you don't have to know what you're using yours for. Again, yours can be for a gift. Um, this is our gift component mini challenge in the challenge 9.124. So September, um, one, two, four, because we're only going to do one mini challenge in the challenge this month. Sometimes we do more. Uh, remember that you can go ahead and put your entry into the crafty community. So I have my journaling card. It's ready to go in. I have my paper clip. I have my tag. And I have my index card. Okay. And then I also have my envelope is ready to be 
um, put together because I don't know exactly how I want to use this one yet. Okay, so there's that one. And then the Raggedy Ann and Andy. This one will be going with the Raggedy Ann and Andy um, journal. Okay, so the envelope is already put together. I added some drywall tape. Here's the index card with, card with a tab. Here's my tag. Here's my little journaling card with a sticker and my paper clip. Okay, so those are all ready to be added to the Raggedy Ann and Andy kit. And then I have my bases and my bases for my other two. So each of these have an index card. They each have a tag, a um, journal card base, and a paperclip base. And those are ready to go with other um, journals or as gifts. And um, I think that this is really a lot of fun. So again, this was our mini challenge in the challenge. I hope that you enjoy, and I cannot wait to see what you make, and, um, you know, and don't worry, you can go ahead and finish these all the way out and share those. Um, that would be awesome. Okay, so we're making four total, two of them totally finished, two of them are just bases, and your envelope can be... Um, it does not need to be closed up. It can be uh, just folded so that it's ready in case you wanted to use it in your journal, um, like as the center of a signature um, is one of the ways I like to do that. Okay, find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Use your scraps. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. an envelope, and four embellishments. This is for our mini challenge in the challenge, 9.124.